Jambo la kwanza ambalo Yesu anataka tufanye. That the first thing God wants us to do today in our service ni kuomba kwa achili ya ndugu zetu na dada zetu ambao wako Saudi Arabia. God wants us to pray. I announced many times lakini Bwana anasema kuna mrango wa rehema. Hata kama wengine walienda bila kusikia the warning that does not mean that they need to suffer and die. We are alive. We have a divine responsibility to pray for them. Hallelujah. Bwana aliniambia tukiomba kama kanisa atafanya njia atafungua mirango na yale mateso wengine walienda pira kujua ni kwa sababu ya kutaka kusaidia jamaa na nduu kufika pale wakapata kwamba hakuna uzima so we cannot just let it go as if we have no power as if we have no authority god is doing something today I say my father is doing something today. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I know the former minister of foreign affairs made an announcement. The current minister has made an announcement on their bilateral relationship. But that does not take away the intention of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we have a duty to pray for our young people in Saudi Arabia. Na maombi haya yatawafikia. Mimi sijui kuhusu wale wa nchi zingine, lakini najua wa Kenya wanahitaji mtu atakaye simama na wao. Wengi wamenipigia simu wakilia wanataka mkono wa Bwana. Leo Mungu akaniambia watu wote wenye mioyo safi na walio na huruma wakasimame na dada zetu na ndugu zetu walio Saudi Arabia kwamba watakaporejea Kenya warejee wakiwa hai haleluya takuomba usimame uinue mikono yako utamke neno la ushindi juu ya maisha yao ambia neipa ulikuja kwenye ibada haleluya sema neno Mungu akaifadhi maisha ya ndugu zetu na dada zetu walio pale Saudi Arabia my father in the name of Jesus i speak life to their life tumekataa kifo kwa china la Yesu kuna kifo kinachoendelea kuna mipango ya kusimu nasimama kama nabii na kuyaribu mipango yote ya kusimu katika china la Yesu Natamka waliozaliwa kisi wako salama. Waliozaliwa Kenya wako salama. Waliozaliwa Afrika wako salama. Wanaotafuta njia ya kurejea Kenya ikafunguke kwa jina la Yesu. Walionyanyazwa na hawatakiwi kulipwa. Natamka ile mifuko ya watu wa Saudi Arabia itafunguka na kulipa ndugu zetu na dada zetu. Tamka ushindi kwa jina la Yesu. Bwana naombea hata wote walio toka Saudi Arabia na wako Kenya naomba Mungu ukasimame na wao ukawashike mkono hata walio kwenye kanisa hili baba ukaonekane tunakataa kifo cha kuuliwa tunakataa kifo cha magonjwa tunakataa kifo cha stress tunatamka ushindi kwa wakenya wote walio Saudi Arabia Naomba Mungu ukabatie serikali hekima. Make your prayer this hour. Make your prayer this hour. Make your prayer this hour. I can see a door opening for our people. I see them returning alive. Lift up your voice and pray.
thank you my savior in jesus mighty name we are prayed my father i pray for our daughters and our sons in saudi arabia i know they are looking for someone to pray for them i speak a blessing over their life i pray for their life i pray for their safety i declare and i decree that they are safe from this hour we have listened to many of them die we cancel that spirit of death from this hour in the name of jesus my father cover them by the blood of jesus cover those young girls from kenya cover them my father wale walio chini ya mateso na waombea Mungu ukafungue njia wote watakao sikia maombi haya bwana wakitakaposema amina njia yao ya kulipwa na kurudi Kenya itafunguka sante mfalme hakuna Mungu mwingine hela wewe na hakuna kinachokushinda hata serikali ikishindwa wewe hautashindwa naomba uwafunike tumechoka na kilio cha mateso tumechoka na kilio cha kifo kuanzia sasa hawatakufa na mateso yao yamekwisha na hata wakirejea Kenya akili yao itakuwa nomo wengine wameteswa mpaka akili imechanganyikiwa tunakataa kwa jina la Yesu nasema Bwana kilio chao kimesikika na jibu lina waziri Saudi Arabia leo jioni kwa jina la Yesu pokea sifa na utukufu kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba wate waseme amen piga Yesu makofi mazuri maisha ya watoto wetu yako salama kwa sia dakika hii haleluya